to those who knew him, it wasn't a surprise that Michael Anthony Monsoor would grow up to be a hero. Monsoor was a Garden Grove High School graduate. Although he suffered from asthma, he would swim and play football to strengthen his lungs. And even in those teen years, his classmates knew there was something above average about him. Heart, passion, strength, and just desire to be there. Great teammate, you know, good player. Always did what he was told, and you know, one of those guys that persevered by hard work. Hard work, that's what Monsoor was known for. At the age of 20, he enlisted in the United States Navy. Only one third of those who try to become Navy SEALs make it. And in September 2004, Monsoor earned that privilege. His sister Sarah describes him as courageous and devoted. He was a very committed individual and he was somebody that you could really rely on. Um, if he said he was going to do something, he was going to do it. While he was deployed to Ramadi, Iraq, Petty Officer Mansour conducted special operations. He would run into the line of fire and save wounded teammates. He was a leader in combat and in life. But on September 29, 2006, he made the split-second decision that would put him in the rank of heroes. Mansour and two of his teammates took position on a rooftop. That's when an insurgent's grenade bounced off of Mansour's chest and fell in front of him. He didn't think twice, left on top of the grenade before it exploded and died 30 minutes later. Instantly, and without regard for his own safety, he threw himself onto the grenade to absorb the force of the explosion with his body, saving the lives of his two teammates. Mr. and Mrs. Monsoor, America owes you a debt that can never be repaid. This nation will always cherish the memory of your son. We will not let his life go in vain. Mansoor's sacrifice didn't go unrecognized. The Medal of Honor is the highest military distinction, and Mansoor became the fourth recipient in the War on Terror. He previously had earned the Silver Star for pulling a Navy SEAL to safety during a firefight, and he received the Purple Heart. Just come out of Garden Grove and he represent you know, his city, his country. It's just disappointing. Passed away at 25 years old. On my book, Mike's a true hero. He did exactly what he wanted to do. Uh, he knew uh, before he ever graduated from high school that he was going to go in the service. We gather today in the presence of true sacrifice at a level that is unmatched. Locally, monuments went up to honor Monsoor. This Freedom Memorial is now a permanent fixture at his alma mater. When we see Mike being honored, we're very grateful for what's being done for him. That's all we can ask for, is just for uh, remembrance of Mike and who he was. A hero who won't be forgotten.